Hey, um, today I first time I used the translate press and then I was pretty impressed how easy it is to use and it's very intuitive uh, in terms of the user interface uh, for front end. So this is something totally I can recommend uh, to my client uh, who are not really uh, tech savvy. And then let's just check out the pricing here. So um, I'm using this personal uh, package. The reason is because I have to translate for this particular project both uh, from English uh, to Spanish and Portuguese, so two languages. So that's why I have to have uh, this multi language add on. Uh, but if you are creating something only one language, like English and French, or like English and Japanese, uh, then you can use for free. So in this short video, so it just gives you an idea how easy it is to translate your website into different languages. So uh, yeah, so let's get started. So I have this demo site. So this is just a landing page and then I have to uh, translate uh, into Spanish and Portuguese. So um, I have a translation from my client. So I've already installed and activated and then so it goes to um, here settings and here I see translate press and then so that's a general so default language is uh, English US so that's okay and I can just add a Spanish so, so they have looks like different Spanish here and Portuguese so you just hit add and if you want to add um, you can add more languages too so just so you know, I have a personal use um, premium version. So if you're using free, uh, you can translate only one language. So and then so these are kind of small settings here and native language name. So I just gotta leave it as uh, default here. And then this float language sec uh, selection. So if I click this and then hit save. So when I go to this site, so you see like a little floating uh, here. So um, I'm not really big fan of that. So I'm gonna just use uh, on the menu uh, language here instead. So I'm gonna just uh, disable this section and hit save. All right, so I'm gonna just, uh, so let's say this is automatic translation here. Um, again, I think you have a choice to um, use automatic translation. But uh, since my client gave me uh, the proper translation, so uh, I'm gonna I'm not gonna just use that. So once again, so I have uh, the premium version, so I can do multiple language and SEO. And I think uh, if you wanna upgrade to pro version, so you can uh, use those add-ons too, like a DPL automatic translation. So that seems to be uh, really interesting. Uh, and I got the license and what's this advance? Okay, so it looks like uh, you can do uh, dynamic content. So I don't think I need to uh, use this um, for this demo. So this is just a simplify. So I'm not gonna touch anything um, for this advanced tab. All right, so let's go translate the site. So here's the landing page. And then, so for example, so I'm gonna just translate this, uh, the platform reimagining financial education. I think I'm gonna just click this tab and then, and here, so I just gonna put uh, Spanish and the Portuguese. So uh, I have a Google doc, so I'm gonna just uh, pause the video here and then look for the Google doc that my client sent it to me. Okay, so I have a translation on the right hand side. So I'm gonna just, uh, maybe I can just keep a little bit smaller here. Okay, so here, so what I can do is Spanish. I'm gonna just copy this. I'm gonna copy that. Okay, and I think I'm gonna just uh, save translation. Okay, so let's uh, open up here. Let's see. Okay. Oh, so I gotta, I gotta bring a switch. Actually, let's uh, probably translate um, uh, many first so that I can probably switch them back and forth uh, when I check. And then just go to dashboard for a sec. I think just to go to appearance. 
and then menu here and I see a uh, language switcher uh, let's see I'm gonna just put uh, Portuguese Spanish English put on the menu and I'm gonna just put uh, here and move that um. okay so I'm gonna hit save all right so let's take a look oh look at this all right so that's English and uh, remember I changed this part and then uh, Spanish Oh wow, okay. And then Portuguese. All right, so that's quite easy. All right, so let's uh, keep working on this. Guys, the save. And then uh, this part, just copy this part. And save again. And then uh, excellent. So that's super easy. Uh, the one thing is I don't like this flag. Um, and also when I'm in here like Spanish, um, yeah. So this is still English, Portuguese, and um, so I'm in Portuguese. So these are not really translated. So let's see if I can change that. So uh, the parcel name, but I like a uh, short name. Uh, I'm gonna just uh, use that instead. So save, so I think I like this better. All right, so I'm gonna keep working on the translation. So even translating this the testimonial, uh, this is like slider here, as you see. And then so you can just click that and then so you can add translation. So yeah, so let's see. Oh, I have to go back here. I think I didn't put the translation. I think this one. Okay, so uh, here, so I can just put this, paste that. And also Portuguese uh, translation is right here I just paste that and hit the save the translation so it's kind of nice you can just uh, flip this uh, testimonial and just click and you can add new translation here now what about here the so frequently asked the questions section so these are like it has tabs here so you can of course those tabs you can translate individually I've already done it and here too so title you can translate and then actually these are actually really complicated dynamic content right so each tab have a template so anyway uh, but this is like the front end so you can just click and um, translate individually so it's pretty amazing here and then so right here get started for free so this is actually same template sorry same button uh, it's already you know I don't have to put translation again because uh, if I go up here, so I already translated at the beginning. So uh, using kind of same button, same English word. So going down here. So if you click that, it's already done. So, so um, 
you know this this like what I'm showing you is just a manual translation using translate press and I haven't even tried this automatic translation and uh, if you look at add-ons uh, this kind of DPL automatic translation that seems to be really interesting uh, you can actually jump start so but anyway so this video actually uh, it's not really a tutorial I just uh, you know showing you uh, what you can do it's so very intuitive I hope this kind of video give gave you an idea of how easy to translate a WordPress website and that's it for today and see you next time